Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video is um, favorites. I always want to call it empties, but it's favorites. It is no particular time period. It's just the last couple of months uh, since the last time I did it. And I've got my list in my computer right here so I can look up like what station network the TV shows and, and stuff are on. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. My first one is, I'm, I didn't write this one down, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all about it. I know y'all have seen it, Cinema Secrets. I believe I got this on Amazon and I got it a while ago and it is still lasting. I take my brushes and I either take, and this is dirty, but it's because I use it, one of these microfiber cloths and I'll do a little dab on it and wipe my brush on it or if I've got several brushes or a big brush, I'll put some in this little cap thing right here and then do the, swish the brushes around and then dry it on the microfiber thing. And it helps your brushes really stay clean. This does, helps your brushes really stay clean until you can, you know, wash them on the weekend or whenever you wash your brushes regularly. So I really like Cinema Secrets. The next one is Prep Rally. It is from Dry Bar. It is a detangling uh, spray and kind of a primer. You spray it on when, it, when it's wet. It helps kind of protect your hair from heat. But the main thing it does, it smells good. The main thing it does is my hair is extremely baby fine, like cotton candy. It wraps around itself in tangles and it's just real hard to get tangles out. This makes the tangles fall out. Just about three three sprays all through my hair and then I work it all through the ends of my hair because I don't want to ha add too much. It'll weigh it down. But this really helps my um, hair to not be, it's to be, for me to be able to get the tangles out. Uh, it really, I really, really enjoyed it. I have a, another one of these too, but uh, yeah, it's really good. Next one is my Nioxin system. Of course, I've talked about it before. I recently went back on the shampoo and conditioner. Now, I've always used the treatment and kept on using it, but I had changed shampoos and conditioners and was trying different ones. And I noticed my hair was just kind of staying the same. So, and I do the derma rolling with it too. So I went back on the shampoo and the conditioner a couple of weeks ago and I feel underneath here and I can feel, it feels like what a man's beard feels like because there's little bitty tiny hairs growing up through, through my scalp. It feels like I've shaved that area and it's growing back because I can feel new ones coming up. They're stiff. Uh, they're brand new. I mean, they're like, you know, not even as big as a grain of rice but uh, that's already happened after a couple of weeks of going back on this. I'll probably, when I get it to where I want my hair as much growth as it's going to, I'll go back to it because I don't like using this as well as using a particular shampoo conditioner, but it just works for me. And I know it's not supposed to. Um, I know it probably, you know, it doesn't have ingredients, scientific ingredients in it that it's supposed to really do anything to help your hair grow, but it does mine. And it's, it's kind of, it's the only one that does. I've tried a bunch of different ones and it's just the only one that still, when I go back on it, it my hair gets stimulated. My, my roots or my follicles get stimulated again and they start growing. And then they kind of stop when I go off of it. So, you know, even though there's no scientific evidence, it, I like it. So I thought I would mention it again because that was definitely a favorite this past month. Well, and I found the top, no secret here, the NARS foundation. I have it on again today. I don't think I have worn my very favorite Lancome since I have gotten this. And it's been sort of mixed reviews. A lot of people really like it. Some people think it's okay. I love it. Uh, I absolutely love it. I did a video on it. I just think it's wonderful. I just think it gives a wonderful glow especially if you don't put powder on it. If you put powder on it, it kind of dulls the glow, but if you don't put powder on it, just leave it alone. I, I really like it. I know a lot of people don't, but I do like it. And my color is Santa Fe. The next one are these hoops. They are from Kendra Scott. Uh, I got them on Amazon. I got these for myself and one of my granddaughters. These are the two and a half inch, the oldest granddaughter. And the second oldest granddaughter, I got her a smaller set just like it. I like it. Let me take it out. I like it because it's got this texture on it. 
It's just very interesting. It isn't your normal hoop. Um, I just think it's like lacy and just beautiful. I really, really like this a lot. So I think I'm jewelry heavy today. My next one is uh, a jewelry maker that I saw on Instagram. It is Rake Lika, R-A-K-E-L-I-K-A-E-L-I-K-A-A. L-I-K-A, and I ordered some earrings for her, and she threw in some extra earrings, but they are just absolutely beautiful. She makes them herself. She hammers, I believe it's brass. They're hammered brass, and then she'll put little beads on them, but they're just works of art. They're absolutely beautiful, and uh, I just, what happened was, the reason I can't show you right now, when I had my hair done the other day, I took them off and laid them there on the boot, you know, the stand where she does her work and left them there. So I called her, I said, I left my earrings there, hold on to them, so I gotta go down today to get them. So I do apologize about that, but I've got a picture of me wearing them on Instagram. So be sure and go check out her Instagram. I will link it below. The earrings are beautiful. I love handmade jewelry and I love creative people like that. And she is very creative. And the last uh, earrings that I got were these flower earrings that I got I got a pair for my granddaughter for Christmas, and I showed those at Christmas time. Then my other granddaughter loved them so much, she wanted some for her birthday, and I got her some for her birthday. They're little flowers encased in like an acrylic, and they're drop, they're little drop earrings, so they're appropriate and good for like a tween or teen or any age, really. And so, you know, they're not great big like what I wear, but they're delicate and they've got these little delicate flowers inside that are dried and they're real flowers and they're just beautiful and, you know, girls just really like them. But both of my granddaughters really have liked them a whole lot and enjoyed wearing them. So that's my jewelry for this time. Our sheets, and the only reason I'm talking about they've got a special on right now, but we just got a new set this past week. They're Egyptian cotton, and they're a 1,500 thread count. You would not, they're heavy and thick, and I just love it, and smooth and luxurious feeling. We always get our sheets from Overstock, always. We, we find the best, best prices there. They seem to have the best quality. We have never, we've done it for years and years, ordered from there, and we wear, we don't have like a, we don't rotate our sheets. We take them off, wash them, put them back on. Take them off, wash them, put them back on. And they will last several years. Then we'll start over again on a new set. But these, these are great. And they do have a, it looks like a President's Day sale going on right now on Overstock. So I will link the sheets that we have. And, you know, they are pricey. They're on the pricey side. But we spend so much time in our bed and getting a good night's sleep is important to us. And you just get a good night's sleep with these sheets. Oh, take a, like take a bath right before you go to bed and slide under those sheets. Oh my goodness, especially like if you've shaved your legs too. Oh my goodness, it's just like the height of luxury. I love these sheets and Doug does too. We agree on these are the sheets for us. And um, so, like I said, it is pricey, but they are on sale right now. So, but they will last you, last you and last you for years. So our sheets. I have talked about them for years, I know, but I would suggest to you all, find a YouTube video. There's hundreds and hundreds of them where you learn how to do a knit stitch. Buy you a pair of size six needles. Cast on as many stitches as you want to make it as wide and just knit, 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 back and forth, back and forth until you get a square and use it to wash your dishes with, use it to wash your body with, you, you know, different ones for different things. The dishes stay in the kitchen ones and the ones that you do for your face or body stay upstairs. But it doesn't matter about the color, use the cheapest 100% cotton yarn you can find and just knit you some. Just make sure it's 100% cotton. It doesn't matter who makes it or what kind or anything. 100% cotton. Doesn't matter about the color because mine fade out anyway because I put them in bleach. Uh, they're nice and clean. They're very, very, you know, sterile after I do that and they don't get molded because I bleach them and it just, they're just right on my face. I, I look down into a mirror that I have at a certain angle and I pull my skin up with this, pull it up on the other side. It just gets it so clean and kind of just makes it real firm. So I love these. 
and then we have another whole stack of them that I do my dishes with. And it's very satisfying to use something that you make yourself. So, if you're so inclined to learn how to knit, it, the knit stitch is what does it. it. It makes the little bumps going back and forth. That gives just the right amount of like friction to really just make your skin glow. I love it. I love these. I love these little washcloths, and they get your dishes good and clean too. Use it, you know, a day. Throw it in the washing machine. Get you another one. Make you a whole bunch. White, any color that's on sale, because you're gonna bleach them anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so I had to talk about the washcloths. Now, our TV shows that we've watched. That's all of that, you know, the beauty stuff. The TV shows that we've watched and a podcast. I'll do the podcast first. The thing about Pam, I will link the podcast down below. It's Keith Morrison with that velvet voice, <laughs> that creepy kind of voice. And he talks about this case where a man was accused of murdering his wife and sent to prison and what all happens after that. It is really something. The thing about Pam. It really is. It's a good podcast. And I heard they're going to make a documentary out of it, a docu-series. I think Netflix maybe is going to, starting Renee Zimmer. I don't know. <laughs> I can't ever remember what her last name is. But anyway, it's, I heard it's going to be made, and I bet it'll be really good. Okay, so that's the podcast, The Thing About Pam. Um, Okay, this was a Netflix, Netflix docu-series, The Puppet Master, Hunting the Ultimate Con Man. This is a man. Oh my gosh, it took place in the UK, so I know y'all in the UK, it's a true story. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I can't remember his name. But he cons people over generations, starting when he was young, I think for over, you know, a, a generation or two, by pretending he's an MI5 agent. And he gets people to do exactly what he wants. He gets them to stay put because he's MI5. They believe him. They give him everything, all their money, everything. It's like a cult or something. And he manages to con all these people. And they get on there and tell their stories about him. It's amazing. It is really good. Netflix, The Puppet Master. There's a, a series, I think it came out about 10 years ago, and I found it on Royal TV, but you can watch it on uh, the internet. You can watch it on the internet, on the Daily Motion. I will link them. It's, it's two series. The first one is what the, what the Tudors did for us. If you like English history, which Doug and I love English, English history, and this was fascinating to me. Now, the main character that narrates it, he dresses up kind of silly and stuff like that, but he has a lot of good information. So, uh, it's the first part of it is what, this tu what the Tudors did for us, and the second one is what the Stuarts did for us. That group of people there was so much scientific information going on. There were so many discoveries going on that led to things that we have today. I mean, there was an area in the UK that supplied all the pencils in the world. It was a, they harvest graphite and they discovered pencils. You know, just think, that was like during the Tudor period. It was fascinating. I will link both sections. There's a whole section of the what the Tudors taught us and what the whole section of what the Stuarts did for us. But you in the UK, y'all really need to watch this because it's just so interesting. Well, all of us, but it was so interesting to realize what a growth, uh, actually, I never thought that, but the things that came out of it, the discoveries, and what they would do. I mean, telescopes and microscopes and discovering gravity and, you know, just all kinds of stuff. And um, what, what the guy, the narrator will do is he will rebuild what the, the diagrams that the tutors left, the microscope that was the first time that they were able to see what a fly looked like. Oh, it was just, it's just interesting. They would draw pictures of it. It was very fascinating. So I think everybody will, that likes history and science and inventions and stuff will really enjoy that one. Reacher. Oh my goodness. 
that's on Amazon. And I swear half the time I had to look through my fingers watching it because it was kind of brutal. Well, it was brutal. Doug loves the Jack Reacher books. And I think there's like 25 of them. So Tom Cruise was Reacher for a few series a, a years, several years ago. And we watched them. I thought they were good. And Doug said, that's not Reacher. Tom, Tom Cruise is not Reacher. Reacher's a great big brute of a guy. He goes, you know, from place to place wandering, you know, making justice happen. And that's not Tom Cruise, you know. He did good, but he just physically doesn't fit the description. Well, I can't remember the actor's name. His first name was Alan. But he fits the description. This guy has got so many muscles, he can't swing his arms. He walks like this. <laughs> He's got such big muscles and he just has that look and he doesn't say much but when he says something people listen and so it's called Reacher it's the about the Jack Reacher books and there's 25 of them so this whole series was was the first book so if they they could keep on going for 25 seasons with this you know with all the books that that, that have been written but oh he's good it it was really good yeah, I, we really enjoyed it. I'm not a, I don't love action movies that much, but I really enjoyed this a lot. And that one was Amazon. Okay, we just finished up last night the Tinder, Tinder Swindler. <laughs> that guy, that's on Netflix too. Oh my goodness. I know a lot of y'all have watched it. Oh my goodness, this guy has swindled all these women. I mean, and he, well... I'm laughing, but I'm not, shouldn't laugh because he got really these girls in trouble. And this guy needs to rot in jail as far as I'm concerned. He took women's money. Then he would start threatening. He scared them to death. I mean, I, you know, I apologize now for laughing, but it was just, I laughed because it was so unbelievable. But he was, as far as I'm concerned, that guy was an evil man. Now he really is. Uh, but he just did all kinds of stuff to con women. And they were so pitiful talking about how they got conned. But then they turned things around in the documentary. So you will like it, The Tender Swindler on Netflix. It's really good. That is it. That is everything. Those are my favorites from uh, recently. And... Um, I feel like I've forgotten some TV shows. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Sure do appreciate it. It is Friday. I hope y'all have a good weekend and I'll talk to you soon. I'm trying to I'm trying to loosely go for Mondays and Fridays. We'll see. I have a real I can't I can't seem to upload on a schedule. <laughs> Had a phone call. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it and I I'm, I'm trying to learn to maybe Mondays and Fridays. We'll see. Film. I'm, I'm trying. I have a real thing. I can't film ahead of time. Uh, I don't know why. I just can't do it. And so I film the day of and edit it and get it up. So if I have a lot going on that day, I can't do it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.